Wrestler, our lightweight bout in the, hundred, or in the uh, amateur division. Jack coming out southpaw. Delivers a straight two down the pipe. Nick straight to the takedown. He has the single leg, looking to dump him. He's back to the double against the cage. Yep, and Jack is defending that takedown. Oh, and he's but down. Nick gets him down. <laughs> he's back up. <laughs> and immediately into that, tries to go for that leg lace there. Yeah. I love how he's over Jack's legs right here, just kind of controlling them and keeping them down. Doing a great job at locking up his ankles and really pulling Jack to the ground. Looks like Jack's looking for a triangle here. Right. Seems like Nick's doing the right things to stay out of danger of that triangle by Jack. And talk about the top control by Nick Osana, but Jack does a great job at scrambling and starting to work his way back up. But he's got to be careful there because he might. Yeah, he's got a darts choke on him. Oh, he's looking for that darts, but Jack, transitions into side control. Jack did a very good job at defending that, and uh, but he's still on his back. And now back to full guard here. Yeah, we can see that Jack's legs are pretty dangerous. He's constantly moving and trying to get him in a dominant position. <laughs> and straight back to the takedown by Nick. And Nick is absolutely relentless with this takedown attempt here against the cage. Yeah, so much pressure against the cage. He's going to look to drag this single leg out. And but put... he's, got, he's got to be careful here because Jack is looking to take, take his back. back. Wow. Ooh, nice. And let's see if he can get that other hook in with 44 seconds left to go. scrambling and back to their feet we are that was a very slick back take there by Jack it was it was and Jack even said that he was expecting him to come out and get him against the cage so it does seem like he's been working on that defense but Nick Asuna looks a little fatigued as we head towards the end of this first round I mean he was so relentless with those takedowns and that's that wears you down Nick back to the clinch. Ooh, exciting first round. <laughs> it does appear, though, that Nick is a little crisper on the feet as those exchanges towards the end of the first round. But, you know, man, what a back and forth fight and the pressure from Nick. Now, is that pressure going to take a toll later on in this fight? I think it's already taken a toll a little bit. <laughs> But we'll see uh, how he deals with it this second round. Yeah, anytime you come in and you're going for those submissions and you're not getting them, it is a little bit discouraging, but it also, you know, it gasses you over time. So we'll see how he does coming out in that next round. But I do think Jack is doing a great job defending and, and getting this back to where he wants it to be. And what adjustments do you think Nick needs to make uh, in this second round to really start implementing more of his game plan? Um, if any. Yeah, maybe not go straight to the takedown, kind of set it up a little bit better so he's not just wearing himself out trying to take him down against the cage because that is a lot of work. Yeah, I would agree with that as well, especially when you're going for the legs. Sometimes the opponent will just lay on top of you. And the confidence of Jack Dressler is just beaming out of him right now. He was smiling as they started that second round and really just feels like he's, you know, toying with Nick a little. <laughs> I would say Nick won that last round. Oh, wow. Heavy shots, though. And Jack feels like he probably has him hurt here. And Nick's coming back to that takedown. But... And he's, Jack's got a guillotine here. Oh, oh, wow. He has it locked up. And he spins oh, out. Nice. Very nice defense by Nick Osuna. But Nick is just relentless, trying to 
go for these takedowns and he's kind of gassing himself out here. Jack is doing a good job against the cage, just staying upright. Oh, and Nick down. Giles gets a takedown. And two minutes to go in this round. This is absolutely not where Jack wants to be. Great job by Nick, controlling those legs again. Looks to step over. Gets the leg lace. And if he gets his head above his right here, he could rain down some damage. Right. Nick's doing a very good job of controlling Jack right here. With and some heavy oh. shots. Jack trying to get back up to his feet. Good job by Jack, using that cage to work his way up. And he's really got to work to get those underhooks yeah. because he does not want to end up back on his butt. No. And, and Nick gets the takedown. Just under a minute to go here in the second round. In half guard. Nick is on top in half guard and starting to land some punches on Jack again. And Nick can stay here all day long. He's winning this fight. Yes. And, uh, you know, it's really up to Jack to, to yeah. start to move and to get back up to his feet if he wants to have a shot right, at, at pulling this fight out. And Jack Move, but he's just having trouble with that, all that pressure from Nick on top of him. And again, he's got to be careful for that Dars. Jack doing a nice job defending and back up to your feet. Great job by Jack. Yeah, up 10 feet. seconds left. And if you're in the corner of Jack Dressler Adair, what advice are you giving him in this, you know, in between rounds to really give him the opportunity to pull this fight out? Well, I would tell him if he wants to prevent some of those takedowns and him going uh, to that lace up, um, he's gonna wanna stand against the cage and get those underhooks in before he can drop down and take them down to the ground as we saw the last couple times in this, this last round. And if you're in the corner of Nick, you really just gotta say, more of the same. Yeah, keep going. Got <laughs> it. <laughs> I will say I can see, I can see that Jack has been training for for his wrestling, for Nicholas wrestling. Um, he's doing a pretty good job lasting with him and, and getting out of those submission attempts, but you still have to, you got to move when you're on your back. You know? it, to me, it appears that it's really that third, fourth, and fifth takedown attempt mm -hmm. off of that scramble that's really costing Jack to end up on his butt. And Jack seems to be in great shape. Both guys. He definitely appears to be the fresher fighter here in this third round. But Nick is not stepping back and again, shooting <laughs> for that takedown. Right away, he's wasting no and time. See? And once he locks his hands up, around his butt, it's really, there's nowhere that Jack can go but on his back. And he's, right. he's, he's really not doing a great job at, like you said, Adair, getting those underhooks and stopping that takedown with his wide posture, his wide stance. Now Nick's making it so uncomfortable for Jack right here, just pressuring his face against him and just trying to get right through this guard, get through his legs and land some damage. And with two minutes to go in this round, this is a beautiful position for Nick to be. But Jack absolutely has to start scrambling and getting back up to his feet. He does. He can't stay flat on his back. He's starting to make these angles. But Nick is just doing a really great job of continuing the pressure. And every single time he starts to scramble, Nick immediately goes for that Darce choke. But Jack's doing a great job defending. And he's got him locked in. He's got that in pretty well. Oh, nice turn. Yeah, it seems like Jack really knows how to defend that. And well, in both of these gentlemen, third round, absolutely sweaty. Jack's going for a triangle here with a minute and 24 left to go in this fight. 
This is not a good position for Nick to be in whatsoever. And he's got it locked up. And he's got his posture broke down. That is not a good position for Nick. He's going to have to get that arm wow. through and see what he can. He's creating this angle right. And I can't see from where we're sitting, but it looks like the cage may be stopping him from, from getting that being angle, able to get yeah. that angle that he needs to finish this. Yeah, you got to be careful when you have those dominant positions, but you don't exactly have the submission because you can get yourself pretty tired just squeezing. Yeah. And, and it doesn't appear that himself. Jack has the arm crossed over, which he needs to That's finish right this triangle. The body. 30 seconds left to go in the fight. This is, again, not a good position for Nick to be in. Not at all. He's got to get that arm across the body if he wants to finish this. Yeah. But delivering some beautiful shots from the bottom. And can he transition to an armbar here? We'll see. Yeah, I'd like to see him transition to that armbar with a few seconds to go. He does have the arm on the inside, so it's still a possibility. What a wow. fight! Oh. What a fight. <laughs> wow, great fight from both guys. Um, Nick kind of took the first two rounds, and I would say Jack possibly had that last round with almost finishing that triangle show in the last few seconds. Yeah, you did. I know when, um, when he was preparing for this fight with Jack, he was saying that he had some high-level Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu coaches at his gym. And I think it helped him survive. <laughs> Great show by both guys. I always love seeing the sportsmanship after. When people just try and beat each other up and tear their right. heads off. And, <laughs> and they hug afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> What a great sport, sport of martial arts. Let's put our hands together for Mr. Johnny Ross for some great fights so far tonight. How about that for some matchmaking? Who's having a good time so far? All right, all right, all right. So we're going to the judges scorecard again. And the judges score this bout by unanimous decision. Out of the... Blue corner, Nick Asuna! I'm here with your winner, Nick Asuna. Nick, what an absolute battle. Phenomenal fight, how you feeling? Good opponent, man. I came in here, I dug deep. That guy talked a lot of trash at the weigh-ins, bro. He thought I was gonna forget. He talked a lot of trash at the weigh-ins. Him and his fans tagged me all on social media saying I sucked. Now what? Now what? I won. Well, it appeared that the wrestling was definitely uh, the, the difference maker in this fight. Was that the game plan coming in? And what holes did you see in his, in his game, if any? He's real heavy on that front leg. I knew that single was gonna be there all day. Much respect to him, but... He tried to bully me a lot, man. I'm never gonna get bullied by anybody, <laughs> anyone. Well, phenomenal fight. We all enjoyed it. What's next for you? I'll take anything I can get to get to the title, and that's facts. I want the belt, let's go. You heard it, ladies and gentlemen. You're winning.